Well, Andrew, it's been a, a day, 24 hours, since the government's emissions pricing uh, announcement, um, and you certainly stood out by being right against it um, as far as Federated Farmers is concerned. What's been the, the, the feedback? Um, I've had a few emails, but by and large, I think everyone's just ready to tune out of 2022 and get on with 2023, quite frankly, um, and they're in sort of Christmas mode. But, yeah, feedback we have had has been... Um, reasonably positive um not that there's been a lot um yeah it's yeah it's been yeah pretty muted really i, th I think everyone's just ready to tune out um from what i've seen on social media most farmers are still not at all impressed with um the announcements and that you know there's no hard detail there there's no firm promises it's sort of high level hopeful words um and i guess it won't be until we actually see the legislation in march that we'll know for sure what's actually going to be proposed so let's look back at this year of 2022 it's been a hell of a year i don't know how many times you've appeared on this program but it must be 30 or 40 um and i really appreciate that but uh, what's your take on the year oh it's been a long one um it's yeah even though we sort of all got over well i think we started off with another um lockdown didn't we with delta um or maybe that was the i don't know it's all just merging into one big blob really this whole period um but yeah i think quite a bit of division this year with the vaccine mandates and all of that and the protest in wellington um you know you saw it in every sector even in farming there was you know people that were hey you know, let's do our thing get the vaccine and others were don't tell me what to do um and so I'm glad that we've moved past that and now it's sort of just back to the issue, you know, the particular farming issues we're dealing with. Um, and, you know, good that the world's reopening. Um, so I really enjoyed actually being able to get on a plane and go somewhere other than Auckland. Um, and so, you know, we're getting staff back into the country. That's going to help out with, um, you know, it's really been a tough couple of years with everything being so understaffed. So it's been a hard year, but thankfully, you know, there's a few things moving in the right direction. And there have been some positives. Um, I know, I think of the, there was a Herald survey that showed that 70% of uh, its uh, readers, uh, the respondents to its survey, were backing uh, New Zealand's primary sector as doing the best work that they possibly could for New Zealand. And that's, that was an encouraging sign that people are seemingly on the, on the farmer side. Yeah, and I think that's been something we've noticed change over the last couple of years. You know, if you go back two or three years, most people in the countryside probably felt that urban New Zealand was sort of against them, whereas, you know, I was never really thinking that. But certainly the the reporting has really shown and some of the surveys have really shown, actually, you know, the public is behind us, um, that those vocal noises you hear in the media um, often just individuals, and it's an individual view. It's not representative of society. So, you know, that's pretty positive that, you know, a lot of people are recognising the great work that New Zealand farmers do, um, not just um, for the economy, but also, you know, locally with work on, you know, be it environmental or how we stack up compared to the rest of the world and how we farm. So, yeah, that, that has been a positive. So as we go into 2023, what are your thoughts? How are you feeling? I mean, I suppose you don't want to think too far ahead because it's exhausting. But <laughs> do you have optimism? Um, well, I think I think the message has gotten through to the government that they've tried to put too much on the table. And so there's been messages from the PM that, oh, we'll look to, you know, wind a few things back or take a few things off the table and focus on just a couple of issues. And that would be very good. You know, that's been one of the big challenges over not just this last year, but the previous year as well. Just the sheer amount of change that they've tried to force. And quite frankly, not all of it was warranted and most of it was pretty poorly thought out. And um, there was already stuff in place that was achieving the outcomes they were after. Um, and but they just felt they had to tinker and um, quite frankly they made it worse so yeah if we can see a little less 
stuff coming at us, that would be bloody brilliant. And as to the end of the year, I guess you better put your Santa hat on. I'll put, I'll put yep. my bib on. The only thing I could find was this. <laughs> This belongs to my Labrador. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. But how do, you, how do you feel going into Christmas? Now? What would you like to say to your, your teams? Oh, look, um, just to all the farmers out there, I hope you all have a good one. Um, get a break where you can. Like me, I imagine a few of you will be just sleeping on the couch between milkings um, and eating, you know, surviving on leftover pavlova and the rest of it. But, yeah, just want to thank everyone that's... Um, you know, particularly I had a lot of people stop by at the field days and say, oh, I've been watched you all the time on country TV, great stuff. So to all those people that stopped by and said that, um, have a good Christmas. And to all the country TV um, staff, um, yeah, Merry Christmas to you all and to your family as well, Mark.